Mega herbivores are of vital importance to biodiversity and the bison is no exception. This, along with its impressive appearance, makes the European bison an iconic species for nature conservation. The European bison is a living legend. Hey everyone, welcome to Animal Educate and today we're going to be looking at the European bison. Please do subscribe if you haven't already so you receive regular updates when I release an episode. The European bison is the largest terrestrial mammal in Europe. The males can range between 530 to 840 kilograms in the wild, though the females are generally smaller, with the bulls having heavier heads and bigger humps than the cows. Both males and females have horns, which are used for fighting. The bull's horns are wider and thicker, and they're set further apart. The European bison once roamed across Europe. They disappeared from the wild in the 20th century. The two main reasons for their disappearance are habitat loss, the usual, and persecution. Then a group of conservationists came along and they decided enough was enough and they were going to bring this species back and save them from extinction. So ongoing conservation efforts means that the European bison has gone from vulnerable to near threatened on the IUCN red list of threatened species. Today, thanks to various reintroduction programs, there are around 8,500 European bison of which about 6,200 are free in the wild. The average group size is about 20 individuals and they're usually led by a dominant female. These groups split by spring as adult bulls become solitary or form smaller groups. They then join the herd between August and October. This is the rutting season. They become sexually active at the age of about three. The gestation period is eight to nine months and most calves are born in May or June. Calves weigh 25 to 30 kilograms and they'll suckle for approximately one year. The European bison consumes both grasses and more fibrous food. They consume more than 200 different plant species, as well as bark and branches. They avoid certain areas, so areas with overly wet conditions, uh, lack of water, steep slopes, unfavorable grazing. They prefer to reside in deciduous or mixed forests. In 2010, for the first time in Central Europe, several ancient paintings were discovered in Romania's Columbia Cave. The cave's about 200 kilometers from the Southern Carpathian rewilding area. They're said to date back between 23,000 and 35,000 years that's amazing. These black paintings illustrate different animals, including two woolly rhinoceroses, two bear heads, a feline, a horse, and a bison. The bison plays a legendary role in many stories. They inspire people, and in many different ways. They inspire people to undertake acts of bravery, People have always been attracted to the greatness of the bison and the richness of wilderness and the natural world that follows it. The presence of a stable population of bison contributes to the maintenance of a mosaic structure in the ecosystem. They help to maintain a half-wooded, half-open landscape. They graze excess vegetation from forest openings and meadows this increases the vegetation. So a range of habitats are created for invertebrates, birds, small mammals. So protecting the bison indirectly protects many other species. They are key to biodiversity. So bison conservation has wide ranging ecological benefits for the whole environment. The bison should be thriving across Europe again not just in stories from the past, 
Human bison coexistence should be developed. We should cherish this animal and write stories about them now. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the episode about the European bison. As usual, please do subscribe if you haven't already and like and hit that bell if you want to receive regular updates. Until next time.